Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are. We're back for some more modern action. Today we are playing another Patreon submitted deck list. This one is our Patreon Anthony. Uh, like I said in the last uh, Patreon submitted video for Robbie, that wasn't the last one actually, I think we had one between that. Um, yeah, we had Masons. Uh, anyway, sorry, the point is uh, we played... Um, I, I talked about in Robbie's video that he had been a subscriber or a Patreon for over or for one year. Um, and I forgot when I did Anthony's first video that he's also been a subscriber or Patreon for a year. Uh, so I want to say thank you for your one year of support. Um, you have no idea how much your support has helped and how much it means to me. Um, thank you so much. Uh, with that being said, this is his second submission of the month. This is Grixis Death Shadow. Um, like we talked about in the Rakdos Death Shadow for Martin. I am not a huge Death Shadow player. It's not a deck I'm ever really good with. It's Tempo, which I love Tempo because I love playing Delver decks, but it's not the same kind of Tempo like Delver is. It's it's very different. It's very itself. And I'm not entirely sure like what the best way of going about it is. Um, so I'm going to try it, though. This, this is more built like a Grixis kind of tempo deck in my opinion it's less so the aggressor and more so the tempo mid-range almost deck with scourge and channeler and snappy um, but anyway we got four stubborn Niles, four thought scours four death shadows three inquisition four thought seize four bolts obviously the four bobbles and two pushes accompanied by 18 lands Two Battle Rages, two Drown Locks, and of course Chancellors, Scourge of Skyclaves, and Snapcaster. Uh, of course, we're a Lurus deck. We have two Ashiok, which yes, they break the Lurus, but in the matchups, the Ashiok is good. I think it is good enough, though we don't care. Uh, two Disputes, two Gusts, two Feed the Swarms, two Spell Bombs, two Abrades, and two Anger of the Gods. So, with that being said... We're going to go ahead and hop in here on round one and see how it goes. If you want to see your deck play on the channel, go and check out my Patreon in the description below. Um, yeah, and if you want to talk about a direct donation, go ahead and you can comment me on any of this different sites that we have stuff, Twitter, Patreon, public posts, whatever, and ask about direct donations for deck lists or one-time donations for deck lists. Anyway, with that being said, we're going to go hop in round one here, and let's see how it goes. Alright, we're on the play here. Let's reveal our companion. And we have an interesting hand. No threats in it immediately. But... We have an alright hand. Hmm. Only that does suck here is we are going to have to choose what our second man is going to be. I still don't technically have to start with that. They do look like they're going to be probably Heliod Company or something like that. Ooh, Infect. All I did, Agent, is the take. I do have one protection. I do apologize, guys. I did just get a new keyboard. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Attempt to push. Really? Okay. Um. That completely changes my decision. Take like Blossoming Defense. Take the Protection card. Second land, alright. 
Hmm. Pendlehaven. All right, we don't draw anything here. I'm just gonna. Just gonna take scale up. We're already at ten, so I'm I'm happy there. Well, I guess if I would have been smart, I would have. Made sure to take another point of damage here, but. Well, coincidence, I am not smart. Got two counter spells. If they can kill us through that, then they got us. It's a four five. Yep. Must be nice to have everything. That's not fun. This is not how I want the rest of this match to go now. Um opponent having that attitude is not going to be an enjoyable experience. I think we just want to bring in a lot more removal. Cut those. I don't think we necessarily want all of our thought seizes either. I'm going to cut a stub. Maybe one more thought seize. Maybe. I mean, this is actually quite unfortunate, but... <sighs> yep, Glistener Elf opening is bad for us. For a plethora of different reasons. Uh, scale up. And they have Ink Moth, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they can play both of these this turn. I was going to say, now you just play that if you have it. Yep. I 
All right, we got three three here. That's inconvenient. So is this being bigger than a three three? Yeah, I think we're just we're on blocking duty and we're just dead here. If we had a push, we could at least pump this to be big enough, but at this point this ink moth is just lethal. Tackle with just it. Mm-hmm. Yep. We should have mulligan. This sand was just too terrible. If you got it, don't slow roll it. You got protection right here not to slow roll it, so... Jesus Christ, opponent. Come on. They got salty, so they decided to slow roll us. I actually think the discard spells are better than Stubborn Denials. Maybe the Anger is actually better than all of it. All right, this sounds good. All right, let's take Glistener Elf, I guess. Because the other one we can't actually take. There's the Ink Moth. They do have vines to protect it, unfortunately. Breeding pool. Ooh, they drew another glistener elf. Nice. Okay. I just thought about it, and the fact of the matter is, uh, push can get us over any pumps. Other way around, we can't. Next turn they can vines to pump it plus the two. I guess. Okay. Yeah. So if I push this now, they'll mutagenic it to protect it.
Yep. That's unfortunate. <sighs> yep. Yep, so this is the part where we're forcing them to make some plays. Nope. Okay, wow, just blossoming the fence. That works. That was dumb. I should have bolted them first. Yep, that was stupid. Yeah, I should have bolted them first. That would have got this killed. I guess that not necessarily. Well, yeah, I mean, I still got him killed. I think we just finish this off and hope they can't kill us from one unknown card. We got 14 points of damage on the battlefield right now, so I definitely punted there. 100%, no doubt. All right, we got there. On to the next round. All right, on the draw this time. Mm. I mean, blue, red. Yeah, we can keep this hand. It's not one of those usual exciting hands. But I could get there. We'll keep. Also going to be imperative that this card is actually going to be good in this matchup. I'm actually going to draw that. As weird as that sounds. Alright, don't know what our opponent's doing. I'm not a fan of it. So they could have Tron next turn, but if they do, we can't use this anyway. I mean, not a lot you can do about just slamming Tron. I got this member. Worm Coil. 3 3 Ballista. That is something we can deal with. Mm. 
Yep. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. So I'm going to 5 right now. I'm essentially going to five. Yep. All right. Don't know how we managed that one, but uh, we somehow did. Yep, sorry, Luris. You ain't getting played today. So we're more of a combo setup this time around. Um, I think we're going to cut these bolts because pushes kill. They could be Etron, I guess. That's what it kind of looks like, right? So maybe, maybe that's not quite where we're at. Let's cut these though for sure, and let's bring in feed the swarms. I want to bring back in two lightning bolts. Maybe. I don't know. All we saw from them was Tron and some a Bliss and a removal spell. So, which that to me says E Tron. Just because traditional Tron doesn't usually play Talisman or Dismember main board. Well, Talisman at all, but Dismember main board. Easy Mulligan. This ends a keep, and we're putting that to the bottom. Okay, well, unfortunately, while traditionally I would normally inquisition first, I'm very afraid of a thought not seer. And unfortunately. I'm actually afraid of they did not have but that's good they could have played it anyway they can't play these matter shapers which is annoying but yep smashy alright let's go here Give a matter of shaper. Yep, so you're still a zero zero, which is unfortunate because they just don't take damage. Two two blista? Or one one blista? Nope, chalice. Holy shit, that's bad. Yeah, that's. That's pretty bad. I mean. Yeah, I mean this is this is bad. This is real bad. Yep, and unfortunately our death shadow is shut off. Because of this rude ass chalice. I 
I mean, I think we I think we're forced into blocking here. I don't think we have a choice. Now they're going to make a 2 2 ballista. One ping to kill it. I guess I mean I'm I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. Yeah, this is gonna be a two two attacking me down to five, effectively being at three. Boom. Now on the right side, depending on what our opponent does, we can win next turn. Here's Tobin, our opponent just blanks. Okay. See if they play the game. They did not play the game. They decided to take the risk. All right. On to the next round. All right, we're on the draw here. We're going to reveal our Loris... I'm going to mulligan the no lander, despite how beautiful of a hand this is. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's put that back. Let's see what they do. Colonnade. Sounds feeling pretty good. Land on top. Blood Crypt is the choice for our Thoughtsies. Let's take... I think let's take the Jace. I would rather them remove our Scourge. And of course, draw one of the worst cards in our deck. Yep. If 
Field of Ruin. Shark Typhoon, okay. I like it. Really? Bold choice opponent. All right, let's go. Magmatic Channeler. Interesting. There's that. Yep, sanctuary back to path to exile. Bingo. So unfortunately the bet they're about to make is correct that we only have uh, so many basics. Tap, but this is a good plan. Boom. Do you choose to fight with Crypto Command? You don't. Bold of you, opponent. How very bold of you. Yep, I fucked up. Yep. You have a counter spell for it? Well, of course you do. Boom. 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 They have an opt on top.
Yep. Snap cryptic. Snap path. Okay. Let's Boom. Yep, opt. Yep. Hmm. All right. Six, seven. Let's check their hand. Let's go. Channeler. Let's go and fetch. Channeler. Pig is a weird choice, but to use their own here. Mm hmm. Yep. All right, let's draw. All right, we got there. That was super lucky. I'm not going to lie. That was super lucky. All right. Uh, sideboard game two. We want the disputes. I want the spell bombs, I think. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Ugh. I think I want the Ashiox too. No. I think Loris is too powerful here for us to bring in the Ashiox. Okay, so this matchup push is definitely weaker. And battle rage I don't think is gonna happen. Alright, I mean I guess we can rock this hand. We 
I'm a fan. This is pretty good. We're gonna remember Niles Palm is not like a super like value oriented card here. Actually, Spell Snare. Spell Snare would have been the only card that I would have really been unhappy about seeing. Obviously, it's a fairy here. I'm not happy about that either, but. Boom, that's ease. Two two shadow. Okay. Yep. Did I play on this turn? I did. So let's go there. So I'm just gonna bolt. Then snap. Which is point I'm sure is gonna get countered. Yep. Again, I'm not super excited about our current board state, but having the second Snapcaster Mage holding down the fort here in my hand makes me feel quite comfortable. Mm, pathing the Shadow here would kind of suck since it's going to be the like beater here, but that was the more expected removal. Thoughts he's here. That's fine. Yep. That's even better, actually. They got nothing. That is quite inconvenient for me. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. Sure.
I'm going to target the lightning bolt. Attempt to bolt there. Oh, they lost the one card where it had been a path. It was not. All right. On to the next round. All right. We're going to reveal our companion. Um, this is not my favorite hand we've had, but I think it's keepable. I will admit we have one of our two worst lands in our hand. In the island. And this hand's very much relying on uh, stub being good. But, I mean, at least to protect Scourge, it could be good. Unfortunately, they're not a fetch land deck. We may not be able to get them to that point very easily. Um, a blue-white deck. I mean, that's, that's good news. I'm happy about that. Well, we're taking Stoneforge. There it had Temple Garden. All right. Boom. Oh, that's not as stubborn. Brazen Borrow Ray. And it's still this is that's a like four spike, but this will be pretty good. I'm looking way more at counting that batter skull next turn. That's fine. And I'm definitely not happy about that, but it is what it is. Um, fuck. That quickly became something I didn't want to do anymore. Yeah, I mean, truly told, the next turn their play is just brazen bar or pass. We could be in trouble. I should have held it back in case they had a board wipe, but whatever. Just because I'm just one card to get out of this. Alright, so dispute again. This time they look like they're gonna be an Uro deck, so I think I want all of this. Should I do want to bring in Luris, I think, as well as just bring in a card. Take out battle rages again. I think I want to take out pushes. Did I have brazen borrowers this time? Uh, 
Any scourge I can cut. Trim a stub, and let's just run it at 61, I guess. I'm not happy about it, but let's just do it. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I'm, I'm having fun. This is a lot of fun. This is a fun league. I got a new keyboard in today. I got it more for looks than anything else. To Sadis or Sade, I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, it's a it was a decently priced Japanese keyboard. It's got some pretty nice heft to it. Cool little nice keyboard mouse combination. My computer and gaming chair are both black and red, so I got a black and red keyboard to match it, of course. Uh, my a buddy of mine who is also a coworker uh, actually built me my PC. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not the best, but if we draw a blue source, it's gonna be good. But also against most their hands, it could be good unless it's an Euro heavy hand. But he built me my laptop or my computer, and uh, I don't know if you've ever seen my wallpaper for my desktop, but it is a. Uh, she's called Urza. That's the name we chose for my girl. Um, let's take Teferi. Their hand is not particularly good, to be honest. Um, I drew Temple Garden. Because I think they are an Uro deck, I'm not going to scour them. This is just looking way too Uro-like. But we did see a Stoneforge, so maybe not. Third Inquisition. Or an Inquisition of the bin. Card is another full, another line. Okay, I'm gonna pass. Ooh, a bolt. I like that. I think it's gonna be a steam vents. It gets us a second blue, and it gets us our. First red, or yeah. Death Shadow, I mean, that is quite a fair draw there. I mean, I'll let them go ahead and path it if that's what they want to do this turn. Okay. Bolt you. Stub it. Well played, opponent. Well played. Okay. Goodbye, Scourge. That is quite the annoying issue to have here.
Truthfully, the bigger problem here is, uh, that's not a bigger problem, never mind. Yep. All right, fetch. We're going to put this in play tap now. Bobble. Bobble. Attack you. Bobble to see where your top card is. Sweet, we win. All right. All right. On a roll, 4-0. I guess let's play the fifth round. Oh, again, another game on the draw. Uh, yeah. All right, I mean, I'd be happier if this is a watery grave or a blood crypt, but I'm going to keep it, especially blind game one. We have two draws before we miss a land drop. Actually, one, two, three draws for a missile land drop. There's some kind of blue red deck. Are they prowess? Okay. That's actually really good. Um, let's go and take a look at their top card here. It is another land. I'm just going to lead on Inquisition here. Well, I guess I'm glad we're doing that. Tire Hand is nothing but a Protect the King type cards. And we know what they're drawing, so we know their entire hand here. All right, mutagenic. Let's... Let's just pass. All right, well, I think if they want to empty their hand to keep their thing alive, I'm okay with that trade. Yep. Also, the other big thing about that is, too... Yep. It also stops... Then we're being able to play the big, stupid, dumb bird thing this turn. Perfect, okay. Actually, it's not perfect. I'd rather not be taking going to eight here, but...
Okay. Unfortunately, we're kind of in a position here where we're just kind of stuck not doing anything. Yep. Okay. See, both that. Yep. They go to two. I guess I should have tested the waters and see if they'd let me attack through or not first. Third attacker. So just draw a team or battle rage and end it. Or Snapcaster. Fucking Sprite Dragon. Yep. Jump with one. All right. Channeler. Which is also a good blocker. All right, we got there. Uh, so I think we want those. We want this one. Is he kind of arguing for disputes because of the stupid whatchamacallits? And I can see an argument for angers as well. So, all these cards are considerable. Stubs, I think we can take out. Battle Rage, I think we can cut. And we've got some number of Thought Seizes. Maybe like that. So, that's leaving me four discard spells. I guess let's try it. I only brought in one dispute because I think dispute's kind of the worst card we're bringing in. And I don't know what the 10th card I would cut would be, to be honest, so. I just feel a lot more comfortable playing Grixis too. I don't know why. I think it's a psychological thing. Object management group. Cool, thanks. Thanks, watch. Uh, all right, let's let's rock. Let's uh, show our companion. 
And easy, easy mulligan here. I don't think this hand's going to do it. If we're on the play, this hand might have a chance, but... I mean, all right. Not happy, but it's a keeper, I guess. Yep, we're going to bolt her. Ooh, I just realized Feed the Swarm is kind of bad with... Uh, Rocket Man. Alright, well, the Braid's a good one. Okay. Deck. Reveler, okay. That's not that would hurt to feed uh, feed the swarm with. I may unfortunately be in the business of uh, feeding the swarm this turn. Oh. Sure. Light up the stage. Bolt and Tarn, all right. And we do not bring in spell arms, unfortunately. Okay. Well. Yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, they're going to get to that Reveler in, like, a turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. They can actually cast it next turn. And then we're going to have to feed the swarm off of it. Which will actually kill us. So, yeah. Um, although I guess we could if we draw a land bolt and abrade it together. Well, now we'd have to bolt and abrade it together. Shit. Now we can't just can't feed the swarm it. Alright, so we gotta we gotta bring in spell bombs here. There's a lava dart too, which I mean it's still six damage, so Nope, not the right land. Whatever, let's go out let's go out with a bang, I guess. Yep. Um, we gotta bring in spell bombs. Cut the dispute and I guess a scourge since they don't have very many fetch lands. Yes, I'd love to play first. Yes, reveal my companion. I will a thousand percent keep this hand. This is a beautiful hand. Okay, so... Pros and cons of this hand is we only have one removal spell alongside a discard spell. When it keeps on seven. He's got Swiss spear. Next turn. 
next draw. The Stormwing. Well, hopefully they shuffle that away. Nope, doesn't look like they're going to. Yep, get rid of one of the baubles. Yep. Well, we'll officially have to deal with both Stormwing entities. We need to draw something good here off the top. We managed to not do any draw anything good, unfortunately. Okay, well. Their hope here is to draw another land. And I mean, in theory, they'll be able to do that. Pisses me off that's all it does matters is cast. Yep. Yep. Let's do this. We're very close to the point we want to be at. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, this is not, not feeling good for us. Alright, well here's to open they don't have anything really good to play next turn. Yep. Boom. Boom. Sorry, opponent. Next turn, we're going to go ahead and put uh, Loris into our hand. This turn, we're just going to sit back on Aether Gust. Vapor snag. That's fine. Yep. It's gonna hurt, but it's fine. I mean, we don't have a choice. We have to do it, right? Like that's our only that's our only real option. Fuck me sideways. I don't know. 
That's fucking great. Okay, we gotta go to three here, getting a swamp. Death Shadow. Alright, we gotta hope they whiff. I think we would have been safer if we didn't play Death Shadow this turn, but this gives us a. They have to kill us this turn or we win. Do we win? Or do they kill us with the bolt they had in their hand still? We got there. Holy shit, we got there. Whoo! Oh, man, that felt great. Oh, my goodness. Whoo! It's been a hot minute since we got a 5 0. Oh, my God. All right, we got there. Whoo! Great games to our opponent there. Oh, man, we, we walked we walked that league pretty well. Um, yikes. That's a, that's a good feeling. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we got one of those. Overall thoughts on the deck. Uh, super sweet. Super fun. I really, really like um, the Grixis variants of this deck. I feel more comfortable with them because I, I feel more comfortable with the disruption. Um, the defensive counter spells and stuff. I feel more comfortable with that stuff. I'm also just not a good shadow player. Like, I... I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna see your drag. Oh yeah, I, I play the deck really well. No, I'm not good with the deck. I don't I don't play it well. But at least when I try to put it in my head that oh I'm just playing Delver. Like I feel like I have more success when I mentally play that. And the blue deck like Grixis makes me is easier to do that with. Um, but yeah. So anyway, Anthony, awesome, awesome deck. Um, sweet list. Thank you so much for submitting it. Um, I felt good to get that win. Um, Luris is a great companion still. Even with the nerf, this card is still ridiculous. Um, Feed the Swarm is a good card. <laughs> um, definitely felt a little under undervalued um, in a lot of these decks that we've seen without it. Yeah. Um, we beat two blue-white decks, which is pretty satisfying. Um, to me, that's a great that's a great feeling. And yeah, I, I don't know that we uh, necessarily earned the 5-0, but we definitely got it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, any amount of support you guys can give me, whether it's just through YouTube, through likes, comments, shares, um, and, f and subscriptions is awesome. But if you guys can help me out or want to help me out in another way where you get a little bit more of a direct reward, check out my Patreon. Um, super cheap. For just a dollar a month, you get one deck a month. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, end the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.